Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you how to make an animated GIF or GIF, however you want to say it, using GIMP. This is what your end result will look like. Okay, so I'm going to give you this file to open. And this is what it looks like. I just got it in Pixabay. You can use your own if you wish. All right, so that's going to be the background for animation. And then I searched on Google for, oh, I forgot. The first thing I need to actually tell you is to write your name on here because if you don't do it now, you'll be stuck writing your name on every single layer. So let's not do that. So let's start off by typing your name on this so that it'll end up being on your animation when you're done. All right, so I'm gonna type that and move it. Oops, I need to make sure there's a plus sign over my name first. Once there's a plus sign, I can move it over there in the corner. All right, and I want to merge this, so I'm going to go to Merge Down. That way, this my name will be on the background layer for everything. All right, so that's definitely the first step. All right, after you have your name on here, you're just going to um, open up a sprite. You can go on Google and search for one, or you can use the one that I provided you. A sprite is just um, a 2D drawings of something that you can animate with very easily. It has the background removed and everything. So I want to zoom this in so I can see it a little better. Oop, that's a little bit too big. Let me go down just a tad. All right, that's good. So I'm going to slide this over here so I can select the very first zombie guy. So I'm going to get the selection tool and drag a box around it so that I'm only you know, getting the first image, not any of the second image. Once I have that, I can go to Edit, Copy. And I'm going to go back onto my background and do Paste. And then it's very important, press Enter and then New Layer. You want to get him on a different layer. And then get the Move tool and put it down here over on the left side because we're going to make the zombie walk across. So this is a good starting point. Point. All right, now let's go back to the sprite sheet again and get the selection tool. And we're going to select the second image on the sprite. Don't get any of the other part. And then go to Edit, Copy. Then go back on your background and do Edit, Paste. Press Enter. And then New Layer. Got to do that every time. Make sure it's on a different layer because it's not automatically going to be on a different layer like Photoshop. Then once you have it on a layer, get the Move tool. Looks like a plus, and move it over. And you're just going to keep repeating the same thing until we get all of the zombie sprites on there. So we're going to copy the third one. Then we're going to go on our background and do Paste. Then press Enter. A new layer. When I say enter, it's the same thing as return on your keyboard. And then we're going to get the move tool and just move these first few um, sprite characters pretty close to each other at the beginning. And later they're going to space out a little bit more when he actually starts running because at first he's just standing up. All right, so I'm going to select the fourth sprite guy here. And I'm going to copy it, then go to the background and do paste. Press enter and new layer. Make sure you do that every time, enter or return and new layer. Otherwise, it's going to get kind of crazy on you if you don't remember to do that. All right, back to the sprite sheet. Let's move it over a little bit so I can get the next one. Oops, I need to get the selection tool. Grab the selection tool, drag a box around the next zombie position, and then go to copy, and go in the background, and do paste again. Press enter or return, and new layer. Then get the move tool, move it over a little bit. I'm going to start spacing him out a little bit more because now he's going to start walking so it can, you know, make it look like he's having moving a little bit more by starting to space them out more.
All right, so that's all of the sprites used, but I still want to put one more frame in there to have him running off the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the layer that's before this last one and repeat it. So click on the one, the second to the top one, and go to Duplicate Layer, and then drag it up to be at the top and then get the move tool and move this one so it's just off the page. All right, so make the the very last one a duplicate of the second to the last one. Then it'll look like he's running off the page. All right, that looks the way I want it. So the next thing we need to do is duplicate the background layer and stick it in between every single zombie. So we go layer, duplicate layer, put it in between the zombie layer. Once again, click on the background, duplicate layer, pull it up in between the characters. You're going to do this on every single one. Layer, duplicate layer, drag it up in between so that it alternates from zombie character to background, zombie character to background. Your layers palette should just look like it's alternating. You'll see why in a minute why I'm doing that. This is a step that's not necessary in Photoshop, but to do it in GIMP, this is what we have to do. Just keep duplicating the background, dragging it in between every zombie picture. So layer, duplicate layer, drag it in between. Click on the background, duplicate it, pull it up. Almost done, one more copy, layer, duplicate layer, and pull that one up there. Okay, so now you can see our layers tab. We have alternating between the zombie character and a background behind each one. They're all alternating. Now we need to merge down just each zombie onto its background. So click on the top layer and go to layer, merge down. And what that did is it put the zombie on the background. So you're going to do that again. Grab the zombie layer, go to merge down, and then that sticks it to the background. Zombie layer again, merge down, zombie layer, merge down. Just keep doing that until all the zombie layers are merged to the background layer, and then we'll be about done after you finish that part. All right, that's the last one. Okay, so now we can kind of test this. Let's turn off all the layers so you can see how it moves across the page. All the zombies are merged to a background layer. Do a little turn them on and see how it looks. Looks pretty good. You guys can add things to this too if you want. This is just the basic one. All right, so when we're done, you're just gonna press save. And once again, this is not the file that you turn in. Mrs. Riley cannot grade your XCF file. You need to do something else. The XCF is just for you to be able to edit your file. It's like a Photoshop layered file. So just save that one for yourself. But the one that you turn in needs to be export. So file, export. And what you can do is just type in GIF. So go over that and just type GIF in its place and then say export all right and just push crop here because we just can go ahead and crop any extra image area so say crop and then this window comes up and you just need to copy the settings that I have in here it needs to say animation for sure all right and this, we want to slow the animation down. So put 250, otherwise it'll just go too fast. And then let's check this because we want to use that time. And you can uncheck this thing at the top too. So make your export window look just like this. 
If you can't remember this, just stop the video and turn it back on when you're ready to do yours so that you copy my settings. Then press export. And that's how you do that. So then you can open it up in a browser to see what it looks like. This is the one that I did before I recorded this screen version, so it doesn't have my name, but it's pretty much done the same exact way. And that's what you'll have, and you'll submit that to Edmodo as your assignment. And you're welcome to do other things to it as well. It doesn't have to be just like this.